talk to you guys. Such a quick way to travel. Yeah. You cover a lot of ground real fast. When it's this glassy and perfect, the, the steel just goes on it, you know, I mean, it's just perfect. You know, with just the, the sun coming up over the trees and just flying down the lake, the day was cold and it was fast. Yeah, it was real fast. And it was fun. Yeah. Just moving, you know, in and out weaving it between each other, into the sun, into the shadows, um, across ice that, you know, looks black. Yeah. And when you're looking down through it close to shore, you see everything. Yeah. You see the fallen trees, you see the boulders, you see the rocks, you see fish. What's fun is that you're going over the deep water and then you come in or you go over a reef and all of a sudden that comes rushing up at you visually as you're looking through it. It's such a cool sensation. It's an awesome feeling. My name is Matthew Baxley. You won't see me in this film because I'm behind the camera. But I want to introduce you to my dear friends and adventure partners, Sven Hoagland. I think the camera's right here. That's a that's a that's a cute <laughs> And John Oberholzer, who is also our fearless leader on wild ice. You crazy son of a bitch! It's winter. <laughs> well, it's very much like flying in this way. It's flying on this sort of parallel plane yeah. above it all with this sort of effortless movement yeah. of the blades on this smooth black ice. Yeah. That freedom to explore, you know, I think most of us grow up and most ice skating for most people is a rink. So this time of year, now you have this total ability very rapidly to go, I wanna go check out that or this. And that's that total freedom. I mean, that when I, you said about flight, that's, that, that's what I feel is the, mm -hmm. that freedom to just explore, you know. We cross over the imaginary wilderness line and surrounded by ancient white pine, red pine, cedar, and then take off our blades and hike up and over a ridge and drop back down into another lake. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are on the canoe route, hey. making our way in Black Ice Day. Probably do a whole canoe trip if we wanted, but uh, we don't know how far we're gonna go today. We're at the portage, blades off, cross we go. <laughs> Mountain ho! What do you see in the distance? We're looking across at Canada, and there's a, there's a beautiful sheet of ice, probably the best, best sheet of ice we've seen uh, in the last week or so. It's just beautiful wilderness stretching out with a big black sheet of ice, and 
it's so sweet because there's this sense of just this effortlessness that we could just travel where we wanted in no time we could we could skate a mile so fast and then just be in a whole new spot in the wilderness really rapidly it's a, it's a cool feeling and i also see my friend sven hooking us up with some nice coffee here on the edge of the ice we got a stove going on the ice i love that fire and ice right there in front of us we are at this moment on the shoreline of mountain lake a border lake in the boundary waters canoe area wilderness across the lake from us the sun early morning sun is shining it was about three hours ago that we skated today down clearwater lake across the portage heading north towards the border and now down mountain where we were stopped in our progression by open water. I, mean, I think of ice skating as like, ice skating is kind of like mushroom eating, <laughs> wild mushroom eating. There's a whole bunch of society that's just like, no, no, <laughs> that, that makes no sense to me. I'm not gonna do that. And wild ice skating is one of those things. People are just like, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna fall and you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, it's so not true, and it's so enjoyable. Just yeah. like eating a, some sautéed chanterelles is <laughs> really tasty. Like... Woo, that was a good cup of coffee. I'd take another. Hey, Ob. <laughs> 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 the amount of excitement we entered into this day was profound. You know, deciding to not go to our respective jobs because these experiences on the ice, they're unique, they're rare. It's the kind of thing you have to be willing to say like, nope, I'm, I'm going out because this is the day to do it. Yeah, that ability with the wild ice and with wilderness to kind of go anywhere as long as there's ice. Yeah. Like, you wanted to keep going. Yeah. And we probably could have kept on going for a long time. And now that we're at the end of this day on the ice, how does it feel? I mean, OB, you were talking about quantity and quality. This was both. Yeah, we got this a big day. This you're was right. a lot of both. Yeah, like like 14 miles by the time we go out and back. Yes, you're right. That's a lot of black ice wild skating for sure. Like the best we've ever experienced. I mean, that was awesome. A day like this will just live on in your memory and have a, have such a powerful influence for a you know, relative to its time. It just has this big impact. Yeah.